Hi, it's Alyssa, and you know the drill. I'm back with another Animal Crossing art commission video. This week's commission is of a client's original character named Jellybean, so I'm going to draw that and also have a little discussion about how I manage my time when doing these commissions and making these videos. So let's get right into it. Hi, it's me back again with another Animal Crossing art commission video. I've been trying to put these out on a weekly basis as well as a second video that I hope to get on on Sunday, but I'm having a bit of a time crunch and I don't know if I'll be able to get a second video out this weekend. I guess we'll see tomorrow when I'm busy editing footage and working on things like that. So with that time crunch in mind and also thinking about the time when I was working on this particular commission and a few others, um, I was thinking about how I could manage my time better and give myself some advice while also giving you all some advice if you're also a freelancer like me who juggles multiple projects at once or if you do freelance commissions um, after your 9 to 5 job and you're having trouble balancing and stuff like that because I used to be a lot better with time management and I need to get back into the habit of you know practicing better habits when it comes to managing multiple things all at the same time. So I'll be giving a little bit of practical advice on that in a moment. Really quick, I wanted to mention that this OC was really fun to work on. Um, well, this character is inspired by the client Nini's OC named Jellybean, who was inspired by uh, Faba from Pokemon. I'll put a reference picture up on the screen if I remember to. Um, so it was really interesting because this was the first one of these Animal Crossing commissions where I wasn't referencing um, either a screenshot from Animal Crossing of somebody's human avatar or a photo of somebody's pet. Uh, this was referencing somebody else's original artwork that was also inspired by Pokemon and then adapting that into my art style that's also adapted from Animal Crossing. So it was, it was, a, it was an interesting hybrid of like four different things at once. I kind of had to make work harmoniously together, if that makes sense. But all in all, I think it came out successfully, and obviously Nini wouldn't have been uh, kind enough to let me use this footage in a video if he wasn't also happy with how the artwork came out too. So uh, all that said, I think this, this piece came out pretty cool. But I did want to talk about time management, because when I was working on this specific commission, I distinctly remember uh, it was like three or four other Animal Crossing commissions came in at around the same time, if not on the same day, just in my inbox, just... Google form inquiry has been filled out, ding, 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 in my inbox. It was like four the same day. And then I had um, like some personal art I was working on trying to get done for YouTube, as well as like gifts for people, as well as I had some other commission stuff to work on and stuff I do for Fiverr. I just had like 30 things that were all due within like a five day period. <laughs> and the Animal Crossing commissions technically aren't due. I can deliver them whenever I want to, but I really don't like keep, keeping people hanging. I don't like having stuff hovering over me on my to-do list, which is part of my problem with why I stress out so much about managing my time. And for the most part, people are super patient when it comes to their commissions, but you know, I don't like people I don't like to keep people waiting if I can help it. So some practical advice that I've followed in the past that I need to follow in the future. I really love this tool called uh, Pomodoro Timer, Pomodoro Technique. You can find different websites and apps that follow the same um, thing. Tomato Timer is a website. I'll put some links in the description below. But basically what it is is just 25 minute block of time where you work on one task and that's all you focus on. Whether it's a drawing or you're doing cleaning or any other chore or task you need to get done, work on just that one thing for 25 minutes. And then you take a five minute break and then you do that I think three times and then the third break is a 15 or 20 minute break or something like that. I think it's 15. Um, but I used to do this and it actually really helped so I'm going to start doing it again because I'm hitting this wall again where this weekend and this coming week I have another batch of you know 20 to 30 things that I need to get uh, accomplished in the next week or so and it's it's like I feel like a volcano with like the lava rising up to the top and nobody else feels the pressure but me because to all my other clients most of them are pretty chill some of these things are on a deadline and they message me like a couple times a day hey where's my art any updates any updates and that definitely adds stress which leads me into my second tip is minimize notifications as much as humanly possible like close out of social media stuff on your phone or your ipad or whatever other thing that you can get pinged by during the day 
close out any browser tabs that notify you of stuff. If you use Facebook or Twitter or anything that'll ping you, close out of it while you're working on stuff because it's just going to lead you down a rabbit hole of browsing said social media for 30, 40, 50 minutes. And also unsubscribe from like every mailing list ever because every time I get an email notification, it distracts me to check my email because sometimes it's clients asking me important questions. But a lot of the time it's just a mailing list or some stupid email from a st an online store I bought something from four years ago. You know, useless junk email. Um, so I've been unsubscribing from stuff like crazy. So in theory, I'll get to the point where the only email that makes it to me is email that's from a client or somebody important that I actually need to read. So that's my tip number two is minimize notifications. And these are all such common sense stupid things, but I'm, I've been ignoring them and I need to get back on the train. The third most important thing thing is the is the dumbest sounding thing but actually make a to do to do list that you have to physically or click to check off items it makes you feel so much better <laughs> because lately i've felt like well with a lot of my client work not necessarily animal crossing uh, clients they're pretty chill and don't ask for a lot and they're usually really happy with their work but for other projects i get back and forth revisions and it can sometimes feel like i'm not accomplishing much at the end of the day even though i worked on a project for several hours if i'm still in this back and forth revision phase it feels like it's not done and I go to bed feeling like I didn't accomplish anything what I've been doing the last couple days is I just used the notes app and I just put out a list of everything I need to draw that day and every time I draw it like I'll put sketch phase as a task or I'll put revision as a task and when I've done that I check it off and I've been feeling so much better just doing that and it's such a small stupid common sense thing but it really does make a difference it makes you feel like oh I did 10 things today I'd knock 10 things off my to-do list even if you did the same amount of work or even less than you were doing on the days when you didn't have a to-do list so those are my three like super basic common sense dumb tips that will will help your brain <laughs> if you're like me and you struggle with juggling multiple freelance projects multiple commitments missions or just you have like a nine to five job and you also have to take care of kids and clean the house and whatever you can apply this to any kind of multitasking problem in your life that's building up stress in your head and in your heart you know but this especially goes out to my my artist friends who follow me on this channel so I hope those very simple basic things can help somebody because as basic as they are I've been avoiding them for the longest time and I'm now re-implementing them into my life and feeling so much better about it so with that said, I hope you guys like this video. I love how this art came out, by the way. I love the color palette of it. It's like a slightly more neon version of the island color palette I was already using for my commissions. And all in all, I think it's a really cool marriage of the OC's art style with my art style with this like Animal Crossing Pokemon fusion look. So I think it's a really successful piece all in all. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope to be back with another video this Sunday, but I'll see how that goes tomorrow. Let's see how well I can manage my time. See if I can use my own advice tomorrow to make and edit a video for Sunday. But if not, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.